Hello folks, welcome back to my channel. Thank you very much for making this return. Do you want to be an employee whose skills are no more needed? Or do you want to be a business whose products are no more required? Whoever you are, this topic certainly concerns you. You are a student, an employee, an entrepreneur, or an established business. This definitely relates you. Before we start, let me show you some pictures. Have you noticed that these articles, they used to be part and parcel of our lives and they are no more needed? What has happened? What does the future hold for us? Nothing if we are not prepared and everything if we are prepared and ready. Think of this world as a stage where patterns are actors. They are coming on the stage playing their part and going away. Develop insights and competencies to identify the emerging and disappearing patterns. Align yourself with the emerging patterns and ride the wave. Now the question is what factors are going to shape the future of this globe? There are many factors we shall count on six today. They are population, resources, globalization, climate change, technology, and geopolitics. So these are the six factors. The list is not exhaustive. There can be many more, but these are the most dominant one that shall shape the future of this globe. Let's look into them one by one. So first, population. What does this graph show? This shows us that around 2 million years ago, there were only 700,000 humans living on Earth. At the time of agriculture revolution, there were 7 to 8 million people living here. And it was only in 1800s when humans became 1 billion for the first time. And what happened afterwards is a very interesting story. They took 11,800 years to add the first billion. The next billion was added in 130 years. The next billion in 30 years. The next in 15. Another next in 12 again 12 and again 12 and the last billion which is the eighth billion that has been added in only 11 years. It is very important to keep an eye on the population explosion because any business that has to stay and survive they have to serve the population. The population increase or decrease trend they are very critical factors in terms of shaping the globe or the global future. Next, the resources. Since the humans took over the control of the planet, they have been manipulating the material as well as energy resources to maintain themselves. Through this resource exploitation, they made inhabitable areas habitable. This exploitation increased exponentially after the Industrial Revolution and reached its climax in 20th century. Increase in population, urbanization and subsequent changes in the living standards and styles, they have threatened the existence of the conventional resources. Let's focus on these four circles. These four circles represent Western Europe, North America, Japan, and Australia. 
these four circle they represent 15% of the global population if everyone living everywhere else they have to be given the same life standard the earth needs to have resources equivalent to accommodate 72 billion people then comes the globalization globalization is another factor that shall play an important role in shaping the future of this world there is a widespread confusion that the world was globalized or the world went globalized after the advent of computer this is not true it is not the computer but the international monetary fund the world bank and the general agreement on trade and tariff get they globalized the world an article is designed in copenhagen it is built in china it is transported back to canada it is bought by a customer from egypt and it is sold by sales person from peru this is what globalization has done 19 what if the world is deglobalized what if there are more events like brexit and russia ukraine war what if there is another wave of nationalism like the one we saw in nazi germany 100 years ago so it is very important to see the trends that impact globalization in the event of globe being deglobalized the business practices and the supply chain they needs to be reinvented and realigned the last but not the least climate change humans have been punching the climax for quite some times especially for last 500 years now the now it is the climate turn it is taking its turn here are some predictions that forecast co2 levels in 2100s these are some of the models that are predicting the average rise in the global temperature in 2100s if we do not understand these trends they may not look scary please mind that since the last ice age the global temperature has risen by 5 degree c and chicago was buried under 1.5 km of ice at that time for the next two factors the technology as well as geopolitics i shall be discussing them in my next video i hope you like the video thank you very much for staying with me please come back for more stuff on personal and organizational empowerment and culture change management Thank you.